Chris. Thanks for offering to coach me through some climbs. Yeah, of um, course, yeah. One of the things that really interests me, I don't think you need to be that strong to get on half the climbs here. Like when I started climbing here, I, I was quite surprised by how many people were not the typical young male athletic climbers, but so many people are. Basically, yeah. all ages, all genders, yeah. all abilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just like such a good sport to get into because basically anyone can climb. It's great if you start from a young age, but you can start climbing wherever you want in your life and you can climb throughout your life, yeah. basically. Yeah. It's a lifelong sport. I know, I saw that climber, Marcel, and he's yeah. 99, he was doing lead climbing. Oh, wow. I, I aspire to still yeah. climb at 99. Same, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> so I started at 45, and I'm 50 now. I It gives me hope that it means maybe in another 40 years I might actually get good. <laughs> Well, <laughs> okay. See where you go, yeah. So what was the plan today? What, what did you have in mind? I've got some blocks that we could have a look at that can be done with a lesser amount of strength. Sure, they can be done, like, if you have a load of strength, you can just power through the moves. But technique will make it so much easier. They'll be designed in a way to encourage, like, use of proper technique. Perfect. Um, so I think that'd be quite good to look at, yeah. That sounds yeah. good to me. Shall we go? Yeah, let's have a look. Okay. Uh, let's have a look around. Hmm. That's green over there. Is that always going to have quite a large element of strength? I think the first two large holds, they're pretty good. Yeah. And you've got good feet. It is on overhang, most of it. So, so right. it's going to require a little bit of strength. Should we just do it? Yeah, yeah, try out. Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. Get a feel of the holds. Nice. Yeah, come on. Nice. That's what. Yeah, that's it. Now I don't know what to do. This is really scary. I'm not letting go. I'm going to fall. That's a good first try. Really good first try. Well, that's the crux. <laughs> I can do that easily. Mm. All the way to my left, my right hand, and I'm hanging off that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to let go. I. My weight's all wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Mm -hmm. So for this, I think um, uh, you want to look at look at it from this angle. If you're hanging on that right hand, the foot is slightly to the right of the handhold. So I'm hanging back. Like the line, yeah, it's here. back here. Yeah. And I want my weight more across. Mm. Let's have a climb and let's have a feel of the moves. I think that little match on top yeah. is what you need. I saw that you did a nice rock over onto your right foot, that brought your hips close. Yeah, hips close in to get as much weight on your foot yeah. as possible, which does take a little bit off the hands. Yeah. So it's easier to bring the other hand in and match. Okay. Let's give it a go. Yeah, yeah nice. it hips in yeah nice Michelle yeah good job that's it. yes oh my god that's it match oh yes my god. Nice. I did it <laughs> well second try <laughs> oh my god. I was terrified I also would not have done that if you guys weren't watching <laughs> that's the camera pressure Nice. Oh, good job. Oh, well thank done. you. <laughs> That's the awesome. Match. The match did it. Yeah. But I tell you what really helps is what you said about hips. Pulling your hips mm -hmm. into the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're almost using your, your whole leg as like a claw to pu pull yourself in that direction, round the corner. Exactly. And then you're you are pretty much within reach, yeah. just static reach of the next hold. 
So there's no extra like pulling up force. No. Using your most powerful muscles in your body, like your, your core and, and up, upper leg, to put your center of mass over your leg to which you can then stand up on. And take the strain um, off our arms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. That was good. I want to have a go as well. Yes. <laughs> and I, I'm going to use your beater. That's good. <laughs> Thinking about that consciously on the in the move, yeah. um, that did actually take more weight off than I thought it would. Yeah. 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 Um, a minor improvement that you could make, I saw, was um, on the first crimp up here. Yeah. You could use it as a pinch, so you can bu combine it with the wall itself. Yeah, because otherwise you're not us really using your thumb for anything. Yeah. You're just holding a crimp, so you, you might as well use your thumb for something just for extra stability. Sure. Yes, yeah, a good one. Good one to look at. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> what next? Yeah, cool. All right, should we have a look at another one? Yeah. Great. Be good. Okay. Um, what are you looking at, Chris? Not the I'm orange, not the orange. Not the looking orange. at the orange. Not the orange. <laughs> oh, oh, is this one of yours? It's not one of mine, but it's very clever. I love how it's set. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a cool climb. Just looking at it as a whole, very simple. Just like a straight line of holds. It's just it's deceptive, yeah, and it sends you off in a way you wouldn't normally expect. And I think there's two main ways. There's a scrambling version, and there's a balancey, slabby, finesse version. Let's test it. <laughs> Even the start's tough. Oh, nice flag. Nice. That's it. Come on. Uh, Can you get the smear? Oh, I good can't. try. Good try. <laughs> That's the way uh, I went at it as well. I think it re relies a lot on the right smear because your body weight, your whole body is down and to the right of all the holds, the line of holds. You're looking at that sort of triangle shape um, for stability. Trying to make the wall work for you is probably the best way to make that solution work. And that beta. Let's let's have a go at it yeah. that way as well. Um, the start's like really tough as well. I guess you can get quite low maybe. Here, definitely sideways, and the flag worked well That's just to get into it, and then straight into the smear. I think. There's an annoying black hole here. I could maybe use the volume. Right hand up, and then a rock over to finish. And step through to create the triangle. Hmm. Yeah, so that's the sort of scrambly way, isn't it? I'll be at the limit of my leg flexibility. I'm not strong and flexible. But it still works. There's ways to get around <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, nice. Ooh, come on. That's it. <laughs> well held. <laughs> yeah, nice. So, can you get the smear? That's it, really good. I stay here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. Yep. Come on. Ah, yes. Well done. done. I do half, half the beta where you go up the right hand side like you did. Yep. And then last half, how it's set where you stay on the left and balance. Yep. yep. I got it. I remember now. See the switch over halfway. Yeah. Yep. 
Awesome. Yeah, Brilliant. good job. <laughs> Again, second try. Yes. <laughs> just bumping your right hand with nothing else. Yeah. Just like balancing on one leg yeah. effectively. Yeah. That must have been scary. It was scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of me doing a climb and trying to get, get it down concise and short and simple is a really good thing to do. Yeah. One of the best tips I'd ever been given is so simple, it's just to climb faster. Yes. <laughs> you get so you're not as worn out when you get there. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And yeah, it, when I got given that tip, it made such a difference. And it has like since then. And I give it to everyone I meet, like just try and climb a little bit faster. So it might take maybe quite a few attempts to do that. And e but each time you should be getting a little bit faster each time. You learn each move. Um, the muscle memory. Okay. Muscle memory, yeah. Um, the, fear, the fear factor should go down. It does. Roughly, because you're repeating the climb. Yeah. 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 And as you said, like you'll, yeah, if you climb faster up to that point, up to that spot that you're getting stuck, you'll have more energy for those last couple moves that you need or something. It's just like pacing yourself. And also keep that speed up, because sometimes that momentum carries you, carries yeah. you on to the next Yeah, point. I want to try going to the left all the way up. Oh, the balancey way, entirely on the left. Entirely on the left. Good luck. Yeah, so body only on the left. I might n might need a smear at the start, <laughs> the flag. Like that. <laughs> it is deceptive as well. So my left arm is quite a lot of weight. Yeah. That's why I'm holding it all the way over here. <laughs> yeah. And we'll do the last one, even though I can reach the top. And then we'll go left hand. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> and I can breathe again now. <sighs> and breathe. Nice. It's That's quite fun. <laughs> that way is really hard. Fear factor goes up. Yeah. As so you go for the bump, right hand bump each time, you visualize and you come out from the wall a little bit maybe, mm -hmm. and then throw yourself into the perfect position where you land. Yeah. Um, so you expect where to land. Yeah. Um, also, maybe 10% of my brain was saying, if I slip this, I better be ready to land properly and like, bend my knees and roll back. But only like a small amount. Most of the concentration is, is on executing the move perfectly. The next step for me is starting to think about falling, uh, the fear of falling, mm -hmm. and I try not to fall at all. So mm -hmm. it doesn't really go through my mind that much. Getting to the scary move and jumping off. Just do that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> you want to limit the amount of times you're jumping off, protect your knees. It's, it is part of the sport and ideally the route won't be set as the hardest, most dangerous move at the top of the wall. Occasionally it does happen yeah. and it's up to you to decide if you want to risk it, or risk it yeah. to take the biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I say, it's like that's a lot of fun for people, you know, taking that risk. Yeah, the adrenaline in the sport is yeah. real. Yeah. It's, it, it, I think it's why it's so addictive. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And if you get that move, you're like, oh, oh I didn't expect to get that. <laughs> yeah. I'm so psyched. The best <laughs> world. <laughs> sending you a climb that fit you can. Yeah. It's the best feeling. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Should we have a look at one more? Yes. Okay, on. let's have a look. Ooh, what about something on the competition wall? <laughs> You don't really climb there, do you? I don't, but I ought to. There's a really good... I, I think it's V2, maybe V3. Let's have a look. <laughs> Jake's good. Have you seen the height of that? <laughs> so the climb is set so you can't reach from here to here. Okay. So that creates the, the move in itself, so the balancey technique. But for a little person, that is a huge move to go from here to get to there. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> the feet are good. You could easily stand between those, just flat against the wall. Literally, just your goal is to get the first move. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice, Michelle, super strong. Super scared. Super scared. Is my right foot in a good position? Yeah, it's in a good place, yeah. I feel like it's going to slip. That's on the perfect place, actually. Oh, so close. That was really good. Good so first try. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel so scary, so I'd like to see where my feet are. And I had no idea if it was on there or where or where. Or where, or where. Why didn't you look at your foot? Why didn't you look down? <laughs> I don't know. Did it feel that that would send you off? Sometimes getting into the position, not thinking about the rest of the climb, just standing on here and figuring out the the extremities of what you have to work with so you can get more comfortable in there because you know what to expect and like how far you can push lean out or or step through we could work I with go for that side where am i gonna aim i can't get further than that but yeah you went here and then it popped down to here that should have been good and that threw you off the yeah. the pop yeah so ideally try and place it maybe here and then edge it along yeah. like that onto the flat surface let's play around with this you can maybe use this as well to help you stand up. So I'm just going to get comfortable with this foothold. Try and stand on it in different ways. Yep. And this is just like a little thumb, just to keep me in and keep secure. Maybe have some fun and try and find a no hands position. <laughs> I mean, our hips are sideways, so there's a lot of room you have to play with. You don't, you don't have to be completely flat against the wall. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, this is the balancey part. You made balancing on there look like you all the time in the world yeah. flat moved up. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I was terrified when I was on there and I don't know how much of that was just mental. You can see how much you can play around with. Yeah, nice. That's it. Oh, very nice. <laughs> you found the no hands. I'm scared of putting my head down. Yeah. Oh, you're all right. You're okay. But you're right. I can. Yeah. Oh, oi. You got it. Oh, so close. I thought I'm going to run out of battery soon. <laughs> so I better just go for it. <laughs> I went for it quickly and I fell. Yeah, yeah. And I think I need to get that balance between doing it so slowly and controlled mm. or and just going for it with mm. the and mm. falling and losing my balance. Mm. I don't know what the trick is. It's a slab. And there's something scary about putting your face, putting your face towards the wall. Mm. Mm -hmm. a slab when you mm -hmm. think you're probably about to fall. Mm. When you come to the getting the left foot over, yep. I think on that attempt, you kind of dropped down to it and then fell off. Maybe that was a slight cause of what pulled you off. Yeah. The, the sudden jerk of moment. When you're stretching out towards it, you could go a little bit lower yeah. and get your foot out even further. So maybe try and lower yourself down on this right leg. We always have to do the, the wave, by the way. So feel the balance. So I'm sticking my leg out, which is quite a big weight. So I'm sticking my head this way. I'm going down on here. You see how low I'm getting? And then you can feel the new position between these two footholds. So the way I am, if I fall, I think I'm going to hit this one way down. Yeah, well that's why they've polished it for you, so you just slide off. <laughs> very tight. Right, I think it should be my last go. Okay, make it count. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So that's it.
Yeah, that's it, yeah. Good, stay close. Oh, that was your best try so far though. Like the edge of your foot was here. I need to. Just put it down, to actually get some grip. You can use that grip, the pull, to pull yourself in. Last, last go. This is the actual last, last go. <laughs> your right foot's on the perfect position. Okay. Yeah. Keep going down a bit further. Let's see, you're almost on there. That's it, and you can, if you can twist your heel down a little bit. Maybe twist your heel towards you slightly. That's it, yeah, you've got it. That's it. Yeah, now wiggle, wiggle across and focus on the balance. No one is looking at my fingers in the bolt holes. What bolt, no holes? bolt holes? What bolt holes? No bolt holes. I did it. <laughs> now what? Nice, now you've got to jump and touch that like next hold. You yeah. Be you just got to touch it. Kidding me. <laughs> it's an awkward position. Oh, but you got the move. Yeah. I did it. Good job, well done. I did have it. <laughs> so as far as I'm that was the end of a climb. That was the start, that was the end. Yeah, honestly, like, it's a climb. Yeah. yeah. Oh, brilliant, thank you. Good, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the first moves require the, the little bit of strength to get into. You could do it maybe slightly dynamically to get into it, to use less strength. Yeah. But once you're on, as you can see it, there's almost no strength involved. It's all about balance and feel, yeah. mind. It's surprising, for such a large boulder, like it spans the whole wall. It's on the comp wall, the biggest wall. But I think it's definitely workable for all sizes of climbers and strength climber. Sometimes it's the micro beta that you need to, to adjust it to the certain climber um, yeah. that, it, that makes it click and work. It's been a pleasure, thank it's you very fun. much. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Good session. Yeah. Fantastic, thanks. Yeah. Let's do another sink.